all jokes aside, that's how simple it is, guys. I, I, I thought it was kind of difficult when I first learned. Uh, same with Anderson. I thought, well, these are weird ports. they got to go together, right? Very simple. And just to show you how quick you can do it in real time, um, we're going to do another one. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to spin it. I was only going to show you one, but they're easy to do. I like to twist the wires. The reason for that is that you get a nice... Um, you know, where you don't have one like off to the side like that and you miss it because all you need is one short with electronics and you'll be in trouble. So then you get your Rouge RV uh, little crimper. I put it in the second one depending on the size that you have. We're using 12 gauge, so I use the middle. And then, of course, you stick that in here again. I know it's very hard to see on video and I do apologize for that. Up to the, uh, the plastic or the insulation and then you just squish like that. That simple. And that's all done now. And you have that real nice, strong connection there where you don't have to worry about that coming out. And then see how it kind of frayed uh, apart the wires like this? And what that does is it creates kind of like that wedge where you can't yank them back through. So now you have that almost done. Now, as I said before, you can put these on first or you can put them on after. Um, sometimes I recommend after and sometimes I recommend on first. It all depends on... Um, is it cold outside? <laughs> so you can have them on there before you get outside. Or I recommend doing these in the house. But if, if you're stuck outside, put everything on there first and you don't lose it. See, you can't lose it. And then you basically take the other one, which in, in, in my instance, this would be the negative, depending on your solar panels, it could be different. Actually, I think that's right. It's, see, it's easy to get a mixed up, positive, negative. As long as you know what wires are coming from the panels or what, the ports don't matter as long as they match up to what you need going into the device that you're trying to charge. So they'll be different on every system. It's very strange. Some, some companies, they label their wires, some don't. Um, some will have what's called reverse polarity. They'll put this one on the positive, and then this one on the positive, and this is on negative, and this is on negative. It's, it's, it's very confusing because... Uh, unless you do it yourself, you're not sure. So use a voltmeter. Find out which one is your positive and your negative. Be safe. You know, spend spend a, a couple uh, seconds to a minute. Find out which one is safe. It's better than having a house burnt down or a shed burnt down or your battery exploding or, you know, God forbid what would happen. I mean, there's so many things could happen bad with electricity. Okay, so now back to the wire. You can see it's a big uh, stiff. This is actually called uh, uh, underground lighting cable. It's for, like, backyards if you want to do, like, a... You know, like ambiance lighting or something like that on your fence or your, your porch or whatever. So you you have that port. It's all done. And now you have the two things that you're going to put on there. See, it's hiding inside there already. It's ready to go in there. See it? And then you basically, if the wire is tough enough, you just click like that. You heard it click. And then you take your waterproof seal, push it in there, line up the little teeth correctly, and then put your cap back on. You can see how fast you can do this. I, I've seen some of the guys in the industry now. You know, they, they make these in like I'd say 15, 20 seconds. It's crazy. And you basically just take this and you twist it. You hear the first click and then you're done. I was taught the first click by the guys that uh, in, install solar panels around me. I had a lot of questions. So basically now you made another, uh, another brass knuckles, see? Or a fashion ring or something, I don't know. Uh, or you made something to power your potentially your whole house one day. Um, neat little things. And then how to keep these, like if, if you have wires and you keep them for storage, I recommend what I just did, you know how you loop them together? I recommend keeping them always together like that. That keeps the dust and the dirt out and the potential water. And then like little ones like this, I use them for like uh, patchwork. And then you just kind of hang them on the wall like that. So to recap, you have your, your Bouge RV crimper, which I really like. It's, it's expensive. It's like 20, 29 bucks, and you get a handful of the ports. Um, you get some of the pins. Um, you get a handful of these guys, maybe like, I think, uh, I think 12 altogether, like six, which is two and two and two. This is four right here. Um, uh, and then, uh, let's see, you don't want to use stuff like this on your connection. Stay, stay away from that. If you need to use electrical tape or any kind of tape on your solar connections, you made a mistake. Go back and do it again, just for safety. Uh, you don't want that electricity getting out. So you got your wires. You got your Bouge RV crimpers. These are my nippers. I like these a lot. They work for a lot. These actually can cut fence, these little things. You know, $10. Harbor Freight, they can cut through a, a chain link fence. If, you, if you're putting up a fence and you want to cut it short and you know end it right there, 10 bucks, you're done. So you got those three pieces. This is your wire stripper. 
um, and your crimper, but I don't recommend this crimper. Like if you were doing speakers and stuff, man, I would still, I would still highly recommend using this guy for your speaker connections. Um, you don't have to use their ports, of course. You know, their, their, their pins, you can use any kind of pins you want. You can use Anderson's, or you can use um, the poles, or you can use uh, basically anything. You know, the little, the little shapes like this where you put the little thing in like that. Um, basically, the speaker connections is what they used to call them back in the days. Um, but it's like that, and then you put the pin in, and then you make a connection. But I thought for my speakers, I'd like to do this way. I'm going to really upgrade because I use very thick gauge on the speakers that we use because we use a lot of, a lot of power. And these things can run a lot of power. Um, so if, if you click these together for like house runs and stuff like that, you could have your, your car stereo here or your amp, and then you could have your speaker on this side. And then when you want to take like say your kicker box or something out of your car, you just unhook this and boom, you can take out your whole amp and your speaker out of your car or whatever. But that's a whole nother video. But uh, let's see what else we got. We got the two tools, okay? These, they come with the Bouge RV kit. Um, these are the openers. Basically, you poke them. Um, this is the tightener, and then this is the tightener wrench. That's so you can get it on the other side because you have to obviously get through the cable and then put it on there like that. Um, so you have that. So you have your two little, two little tools. You have your mess, which is the three little dots that we, we cut off, which we don't need no more, and then your nippers. So I recommend this. I don't recommend this. I recommend this highly. So that's basically, in a nutshell, let's see where I can put this here. I'm running out of table space here on my desk. So that's basically, uh, that's it. I mean, as, as simple as it, it sounds, the first time you do it, obviously, you, you're probably going to make mistakes, as, as we all do. You know, we're human. But uh, you keep at it, and you can make these as quick as I did, or even quicker. Like I said, I've seen people make these in 15 seconds. It's crazy. Like doing the Guinness Book of World Records for cable making or something. But every time I need a cable, I come back to this assortment of tools. If you want to keep this assortment of tools as a picture screenshot of what you need to make these MC4 connections, you can use them for a lot of things around your house, not just solar. But since they're waterproof, if you had outdoor speakers... I'm putting these puppies on. All right, guys, safe travels. I really appreciate you spending the time with me. I hope this helped, and I'll see you again down the road, okay? Safe travels.